all Borderlands fans, let's come together and talk about this movie. I know there is a lot about it that is sketchy, and it doesn't look great, but as a really loyal Borderlands fan, I'm not really willing to give up hope on this franchise entirely. So I have a lot to talk about in this video, and let's get right to it. Personally, I feel like Borderlands has kind of been on a downward trend ever since the pre-sequel. Um, the quality's just slowly gotten a little bit worse with Borderlands 3 and Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Both of those games did a lot of things wonderfully and had a lot of improvements from the previous games in the series, but there was also some bad aspects of those games that almost shined more than the good things. Although we've been disappointed a bit with these games, they're honestly not far off at all from being truly great. They're honestly just a few adjustments away. And for me, that gives me hope. Now, with this movie, it would truly be amazing if this studio was aware of this fan base's passion towards Borderlands and this franchise, but then also if they were aware of our skepticism. And with that being said, if they can somehow wow us with this movie and truly get us sucked into this universe, I think we could be in for a treat. Now, I'm someone who loves the Marvel movies, but I do remember when the first Avengers movie came out, especially the movies prior to it, like Iron Man and the Thor standalone movie, they were not super popular. And I remember that as someone as a kid who loved it when it came out, I wasn't like... A popular opinion for that. I was kind of alone on that for a while and then it slowly caught on as the series went on. I think most people would say that the peak of Marvel was either Guardians of the Galaxy or Infinity War and with that being said both of those came slightly later along the series. So with Borderlands if this first movie can just not be atrocious and can just have some good aspects tell a decent story and set up a universe I think we could be on to something. This, like Marvel, has all, so much content that's literally already written. So they don't have to change it around or anything like that. I feel like their job is to just accurately portray these stories and accurately portray these characters that we've all come to love. I am a bit worried that these actors are going to be able to portray these characters correctly. Like Kevin Hart, I don't see him correctly being Roland. I don't know how he's going to be a really serious soldier that kind of feels like a badass and is loyal. And I don't know. I just don't see Kevin Hart doing that. Same with Jack Black as Claptrap. Like Claptrap was such a unique personality. And I feel like we're going to get like a Jack Black personality, which could be funny. Also, when you have a character like Dr. Tannis and it's being played by such a big actress like Jamie Lee Curtis, you know that they're going to try to give her a lot of roles and probably some comedic roles. Whereas her character wasn't really necessarily like that. So again, I would really love it if they just accurately portray these characters. What it's all going to come down to is what is the demographic that this studio is trying to target? If they're trying to target loyal Borderlands fans, then we could be in for a good movie. But what's a really scary thought is if this studio was targeting kind of general action comedy fans, then this is going to be an absolute disaster. Something that's really good about this movie coming out is I think that this puts a lot of pressure on Borderlands 4. And I think that's a great thing. Guys, I said this earlier, but I genuinely believe Borderlands 4 has the potential to be one of the best action adventure shooters ever. Literally ever. Or I guess you could even call it an RPG. But it really has all of these pieces. I truly believe that Borderlands 2 is up there as one of the best video games of all time. And I feel like Borderlands 3 had better gameplay than Borderlands 2. So if it can just kind of put these pieces all together and put together a complete experience that's well paced and doesn't drag out the story. And I also feel like they could upgrade the maps a bit better. I feel like they downgraded the maps from Borderlands 2. I feel like Borderlands 3's maps felt bigger, but just like I had to travel further and it felt more tedious. Maybe that's just my opinion. But nonetheless, this pressure that's being put on Borderlands 4 could be a really good thing and could make the studio use extra resources and maybe give us a good game. So with that being said, the movie definitely doesn't represent the state of the video game franchise because honestly, it's pretty much unaffiliated. They got the rights to use these existing characters to make a movie off of it. So whatever happens, happens. That's like saying the next Spider-Man PlayStation game is going to be terrible because Madame Web is terrible. It's just not correlated at all. 
but try not to just get too upset about this. I've honestly come to a point where I expect modern movies to just be terrible, and I'm either, one, going to really enjoy this as a Borderlands fan, or two, I'm just going to watch the studio epically fail once again. I feel like some of these large studios are so disconnected from what people actually want to see, and it's kind of mind-blowing and kind of entertaining. So for me, in the Borderlands movie, it would be the coolest treat ever if they somehow found a way to put in the iconic legendary weapon, the Unkempt Herald. That's my favorite legendary by far. I know for a fact that I want to see iconic legendary weapons in this movie. That would make me really happy. So let me know what your guys' favorite legendary weapons are in any of the games. And let me know if you think that it can make an appearance in the movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider liking if you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace!